Welcome to the new decimals of the Caribbean. In this version, you can actually play with decimals or you can choose to play without decimals. Yes, it's true. Decimals of the Caribbean can be played without decimals. So that version works good for kids in grades two and three, while the decimal version works great for kids in grades four and five. So let's play, let's show you how to do this. I'm going to play with whole numbers and decimals. So to play with whole numbers and decimals, I'd click this play. I'd click this play if I just wanted to play with whole numbers. So let's go. So my first stop, and this is similar to the old version, it says this is a major, Panama City is a major Spanish port where silver and gold are brought from the mines of South America. Three treasure ships are docked in the harbor. So I'm going to go to where it says next. This is the first port. And as you see, here is, uh, here I am, and I'm looking out into the open ocean. And so it takes a couple of minutes, it takes a couple of seconds for the boats to show up, but I need to blast the boat that has a numerical version of 15 and 68 hundredths. So it takes a couple of minutes, but the boats will start showing up, and here they go. And so this one... I would not blast this one because this is one in 568 thousandths. So I'm looking for 15 and 68 hundredths. Sometimes I have to be very patient. This one says 1,568, so I would not blast that one. Sometimes six or seven boats go by before I find the right one. And this one is it looks like 1,568 ten thousandths, so also I'd stay away from that one. Here comes a fourth boat, and it reads, look at this, 15 and 6,800. So I point my cannon there, and I fire, and I blow that ship out of the water. And so there's seven rounds, and in each round, you have to blast five ships. Um, if, you, if you make it past each round, you'll get a code. You can use that code to return to the game later so you don't have to start all over again. So here I have 96 and 62 hundredths. So none of these ships coming in. I have three lives, which means I can get three wrong answers before the game's over. So here is 9 and 662 thousandths. Close, but I don't know. That one's designed to trick me. I have to be pretty precise with my um, decimals here. This is 9,662, not the correct one either. Down here is 96,662, or I'm sorry, 9,662, not right either. I'm looking for 96.62. And what up here? This one's looking good, the red one. Fire away, blast it out of the water and my message changed. So now I'd be looking for three and 25 hundredths. Game's moving a little bit slow on my computer because I have a lot of windows open, but on your computer it'll move much faster. I'll do one more, so I'm looking for three and 25 hundredths. Also, each round the background changes and you go to a new location in Central America. The game's designed to obviously have a pirate theme and, and, and a Caribbean theme. Three and 25 hundredths. There's also music, which I've turned down. And I'm starting to see the ships with the threes, the twos, and the fives come. This is 3,250 right here. I'm going to stay away from that one. I'm really looking for three, simply 3.25, 3 and 25 hundredths. Again, sometimes you have to be patient. It'll take a while for your boat to come into sight. And there will be other boats with similar numbers designed to trick you. Three and twenty-five hundreds. There it is. And I knock that boat out of the water. So this should give you a good idea of how to play Decimals of the Caribbean. Again, this is the decimal version of Decimals of the Caribbean. There's also a plain whole numbers version of Decimals of the Caribbean.